Today I'll be showing you how to transition from an iRenex client to Mudlet. Now, before we begin, why do I want to switch to Mudlet to begin with? The reasons are simple. Mudlet is way faster, has less bugs, and it can do way more than Nexus. On top of that, it shares the same great features with Nexus, such as being able to run on Mac, Linux, and Windows, while looking pretty well at it too. For example, I created a package for IKEA that has the Nexus Gauge and Compass right on Mudlet. Here's a screenshot. See it on Displays Map here. This is a working compass. You can just click buttons to move. Same as Nexus. And here are the gauges. They also work. So, let's get started. When you first launch Nexus, you're presented with this window. You put in your character name and your password. And you press Enter to log in. With Mudlet, the process is kind of similar. You start up Mudlet, and then you press the Connect button, right here. Press the Connect button, and then you create a new profile for the game that you're playing. So we'll click New here. We'll be using Listernia for Mudlet, so I'll put in Listernia. Server address. Now, this is an important part. For Listernia, I'll put in Listernia.com. For K, you put in K.com. For Imperian, you'd put in Imperian.com. And for Atolia, you put in Atolia.com. Port is 2323. You can also optionally put in your character name and your password, but it will log in for you. There we go. Now we'll press Connect. Oh, enable auto connect and start. And. There you go, it's connecting. Let's turn is a bit slow today. And I'll even log me in. Now, first thing I'll do is the text quality doesn't look all that great right now. So I'll go to settings, main display, and I'll enable anti aliasing. This makes the text looks much better. Oops, too huge. There you go, 14. Looks quite nice. So, first things off. To open a script editor Nexus, you click the second blue button right here. There we go. To open in Mudlet, you click on any of these buttons. Triggers, slices, whatever. Click on one of them, and here, here comes the script editor. So, first thing it will do is let's copy a simple Nexus alias. For example, this one. It's called Hi All. And all it does is it sends two commands. Say Hi and Send Hello. We do the same thing in Nexus, but the proper style to do is put an ascent before everything. Because if you don't, it also gets treated as Elias. Bad. So we save that. Try this Elias. Hi, all. And it said, uh, there we go. Hi, and you use the hello command. Now, let's copy it over to Mudlet. In Mudlet, you click Elias, and when you click on Add Item. Right here. We copy the Elias pattern into Mudlet and we also add a carrot and a dollar sign at the end. Mudlet wants this. So we put a carrot and a dollar sign at the end. For the script, we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. And now we change it to be the Mudlet format. In a Mudlet format, you remove this dash sign like this, and you put the text that you want to send into a bracket and a quote. So bracket quote, and then I close it, bracket quote. Same thing here, bracket quote, bracket quote. And now we can press save item. Now, optionally, we can also give our lies name. So, my hi all lies. Save it, and you see the name changes. And now we we'll click on activate. So the uh, alias is working. Now let's give it a try here. Hi all. There we go. Say the same thing. Say hi. And send the hello out. So this is how you do simple aliases in Nexus and in Mudlet. Now the next one is our pack alias. What a pack alias does is it does it for set pack and an echo. As you probably know, set Nexus sets a variable to a given value, in our case, variable pack, 
will be given this word to remember and echo displays it to you. The dollar sign right here means that you want to use a variable. So the variable that we set here will be displayed right here. Let us give us a try. Pack. And there you go, it told us my pack ID, pack1234. Because pack got translated into this. Now let's copy that into Nexus. I mean Mudlet, sorry. Click new lies. My pack lies. Pad pack. Put in the character and the dollar sign. And we copy. Now, Nexus, I mean Mudlet in this regard is simpler. To set a variable, you just do variable equal value. So pack equals pack1234. Almost. We want to put quotes around it because it's a word. So we save this and echo. You do the same thing as you did with send. Echo and then we put a quote and we close it. Save item. Activate it. Now we're nearly there. The thing is that this dollar sign in pack works differently in Mudlet. In Mudlet what you do is you'd close the string, I mean close of code, put in two dots, and put in pack. Like this. Because pack is a variable, it doesn't need the dollar sign that Nexus does, but it needs to be outside of a quote. And to connect the quote to the pack variable, put in two dots. So this here, in the exact version of this here. Let's give it a try. Pack. There you go. It told you the same thing. My pack ID, pack1234. And Nexus, my pack ID, 1234. It works. Great. Now let's go into triggers. Let's try a simple trigger. For example, this one. You set yourself down, we'll send the command send stand. So copy this into modelit, click on triggers, click on new item trigger. Now these nexus symbols right here are a bit different in Mudlet, but we do have something that does the same thing. For the purposes of the tutorial I compiled it here. This little symbol means carrot, which already saw in Elias. We're also using triggers. And this symbol means a dollar sign. Same thing. So why don't we replace them as they should be. Replace this with a carrot and this with a dollar sign. And we need to change the pattern type to Perl rejects. Remember that for the future. And for the script, send stand. We do the same thing. We already know how to do this. Put stand inside of a bracket and quote. Click save item and activate our trigger. Let's give it a name too. And let's try sitting down. There you go. You set yourself down and Mudlet stood up for us right away. Now, when we do it in Nexus, you'll see that sit and stand. We did not see the stand command, but Mudlet by default does display it. We can fix this by putting in false at the end. Save item, sit, and now it got up and it didn't show anything. Works nice. So, what would be the next thing? Next thing is, let's try using wildcards. In Nexus, the W letter will mean that you're remembering a wildcard. And to use a wildcard in your script, use the dollar sign in one. For example, our script remembers the first words 